What's up, travelers? So I am sitting at Spontini in Milan, Italy. This place opened up at, in 1953. Uh, I figured I haven't had any pizza here in the north yet, so uh, I came to this place to get some. And be sure to stick around because we're gonna head over to a Michelin star rated restaurant for some asabuco and risotto. I am sitting at Spontini in Milan, Italy. This place opened up at, in 1953. I figured I haven't had any pizza here in the north yet, so I came to this place to get some. And wow, this stuff looks amazing. <laughs> Look at that cheese pull. That is fantastic. Mm. So I ordered a margarita. Because, you know, that's what you do here in Italy. <laughs> now you can get other stuff, but I prefer the margarita. But wow, man, so much pizza right here. It's absolutely crazy. I just can't wait to dig into this. So this is a very thick crust up here, uh, as opposed to down in the southern parts of Italy, where you get more of a, a thin hand-tossed type of crust. Oh yeah, it's nice and saucy and cheesy. Of course, you already saw all that cheese. I don't think you'd even dare pick it up with your hands at this point because there's just too much cheese. I mean, look at that. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. It's so cheesy, it's hard to even... <laughs> oh yeah this is a good pizza again they definitely do things differently than down in the south of the country I guess I'm just gonna try to pick the slice up <laughs> this is absolutely this is everything you dream about with pizza right here So much mozzarella. <laughs> this thing's hard to eat. <laughs> the sauce isn't quite as garlicky as it is down in the south. Very, very wonderful tomato and basil. So good. This is the kind of pizza everybody should have. It's kind of like Pizza Hut pan, only a million times better. Man. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I thought I was just going to a little a little quick pizza spot, but you know, this is gourmet pizza. So today's my last day here in Milan. If you're gonna come to Milan, I highly suggest not coming on a Sunday or a Monday. Because on Sunday, all the churches you want to go see are in service, so they're closed to tourists. And on Monday, all the 
all the museums are closed. You end up wasting two days. <laughs> Granted, the cathedral still open on Monday. Also, if you want to go see Da Vinci's The Last Supper, book your tickets well in advance. They're not cheap. They only let like 15 people in at a time. This pizza is good. Well, I may have ordered too much. <laughs> Hello, my name is Varun, a really cool guy in a boat. You can be really cool guy like Varun if you subscribe to Tasting Travel right now. If you do not subscribe, I'll be ah ah. You're welcome. All right, so I am sitting here at Trattoria Aurora here in Milan, Italy, and I just sat down. Got these little appetizers here that they just brought them to my table. And then I ordered an asabuku, which is a Milanese-style stewed veal shank, and it comes with a Milanese saffron risotto. Hopefully, it's gonna be everything that we want. Oh, this place is kind of overwhelming. So we got this flan with the, the cheese fondue here. And this stuff. Mm. It's a very mild cheese and the flan doesn't have any sweetness whatsoever. I've never had savory flan before and I am a convert <laughs> for sure. <laughs> oh man, this is some good stuff. I'm a little irritated that I didn't turn the, the camera on earlier because I'm an idiot. <laughs> but uh, We had a little tiny uh, half slice of eggplant that was fried to perfection and then a little tiny piece of apple that was fried the same way. And then there was some sort of a sweet dough that was it was fried and it was kind of gooey on the inside it was some amazing stuff but this this cheese man mm. I might as well have a have a slice of bread while we're waiting they definitely like to fill you up on bread in this country <laughs> you know, what can you say? It's good bread. So this is going to be my last meal here in Milan. Pretty excited. I'm going to go to Verona tomorrow. There. I'm going to hit up the last Hard Rock Cafe in Italy that I haven't been to yet. In fact, I just found out this one existed. 
Uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to go to the Capuletti house where supposedly Juliet lived from Romeo and Juliet, so that should be pretty interesting. Hopefully the weather's not too bad. It's supposed to be snowing. I, you know what? I came to Italy. I, the idea of snow never even crossed my mind, but boy is it had been cold here. This meal, hopefully it should cap off a wonderful day after, after seeing an authentic piece of Michelangelo's history, actually his his final work that he ever produced um, and yeah so it's been a good day hopefully we're gonna top it off and make it even better all right we got this asabuku here asabuko i'm not sure how to pronounce it but oh man this looks absolutely fabulous so we've got this nice shank of uh, veal here oh, oh, oh man look at that piece of meat oh man i'm excited i'm so excited mm. that is so tender it just melts in your mouth it is just such an explosion of flavor you got Unbelievable. So many combinations of herbs and spices and just, I think, I don't even know what all is in it. All I know is it is absolutely fabulous. And then we got this yellow risotto here. It's yellow because of all the saffron and the cheese that they put in it. Hopefully this is going to be amazing. That is so good. So, one of the things about risotto alla Milanese is everything is local. We've sourced ingredients. The rice is grown here. The cheese is made here. The saffron's grown here. It all comes together to make a masterpiece. Mm. So tangy and just absolutely lovely you really don't even need the knife <laughs> mm. everything about this meal just screams gourmet this ended up costing 26 euros worth every penny by far just this is one of the best meals I've ever had. Mm. Try a piece of the meat along with some of the risotto here. Oh man, even more flavor explosion. Just boom. My best advice I can give you is make it a point to come to Milan and find some asabuku. This one is very good. I don't think it's the best in town. I think the best in town is probably quite a bit more expensive. But, oh man, this is fantastic. I, this, this risotto, I usually don't like risottos. Usually they're just, they're too soft and milly and, and just, I don't like it, but oh man, this risotto is amazing. And the best part of it is they take a part of an animal that usually doesn't get any love and they just turn it into something absolutely unbelievable. I think I'm definitely going to get some dessert for a last meal here in Milan. They're definitely a firecracker. If you have enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you were to give me a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you so feel the need to. And that way I can let you know every time I upload a new video. 
and I truly appreciate it. If you want to go on step for it further, share it with your friends. I really appreciate that too. Uh, your support helps my channel grow and I am just completely grateful. So I just ordered dessert, pronounced Isola Galagiante uh, con crema inglese and I looked it up, I translated it and it translates to island in a sea of custard so that sounds like it's probably pretty good. So I had no idea what we were getting other than it had custard in it. Um, seems like we have some sort of a meringue going on here. Something something kind of crusty down here and uh, the custard looks like maybe some some date syrup but one thing I do know for sure is it looks delicious let's give it a go it's got the perfect amount of sweetness to it it's like it's not overpowering sweet. It's not underpowering sweet. It's almost like when you bite into a really good apple. That's the kind of sweetness that you have to it. And then this this meringue. It is like a perfect little pillow. <laughs> Cross between a marshmallow and pudding. You know, it's, it's, it's really, it's an interesting texture for sure. Very, very, very satisfying. Mm. And then that crust, it's really, really flaky. And it just soaks up that custard that... It, it just... This, this is a just delightful to eat and that custard it's 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 kind of runny not like any kind of custard I've ever had before it's, it's really really runny mm. I hope you get a chance to try these foods I really do I totally wasn't expecting this but right before I was they gave me the check they gave me a shot of espresso so that's pretty awesome Need to give it a nice little stir. Stir that crema in there. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh. That is smoky. Bold flavor. I absolutely was not expecting that. Mm. It's almost like they actually smoked the beans after they roasted them. It's like, wow, that's, that's really something else. Mm. That's good. Wow. As always, eat great food.